Hey guys, it's Matt. Here is another quick tutorial on how to start using Kukai Wallet by creating your mnemonic passphrase. This tutorial is going to be connected to a few other tutorials I have. Basically, you're going to make the mnemonic phrase, which is like 12 or 24 words. Then you're going to go ahead and import that mnemonic into Temple Wallet. So you can actually use the same backend wallet with two different interfaces. So you can do all your swaps and everything on Temple Wallet. And at the same time, you can have the nice, easy to use interface that Kukai Wallet has. This is Web 3.0 on Tezos. This is exactly what you'd be using Web 3.0 for because different front end can provide different tools that you can use but you can still use the same back end nfts or or cryptocurrencies and kind of do what you want with them by using these different tools so anyways let's get started on the first step of this tutorial and that's going to be to create a new wallet i'm just going to copy and paste this onto a piece of paper okay call it the trash account okay so after this i'm just gonna I get rid of it anyway so now you just type in word six so i have it i have it copied and pasted so the other one was mosquito, so this one's brain. And the last word is alt. Okay, great. So, and now that you have verified it, this is kind of annoying to go ahead and create a password that's long enough, but I kind of know how to do it. You need like, uh, you need like, uh, yeah, just kind of keep going at it here. It needs like one lowercase, one uppercase at least, and one number at least, and then two special characters, I think. So then just go ahead and copy this. You can, you can use this uh, when you're going to transfer from your other accounts, okay? And you have to download. You don't actually have to download this file. There's no real point. You can just hit cancel and then make sure you just have those 24 words saved from before, okay? So don't worry about this so much. I would hit cancel because I never try and have a hard copy of my wallet anywhere. This hard copy is encrypted by your password. However, people can brute force this just by using a password brute force uh, protect, like attack on this wallet uh, file. So I would just keep that those 24 words in an encrypted file and then just store it somewhere on your computer or put it on, or better yet, use the, have those 24 words be your backup, like a Ledger Nano S or something. And then you can basically use these 24 words for the password for that. And then this same Tezos wallet will sh show up on your Ledger. So there's different ways to skin a cat. That's what I would recommend if you're gonna have a lot of Tezos. If you don't have that much and you don't mind, if you're really secure and you have good computer skills, just go ahead and do, do it this way. Keep the 24 words. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We have started a new wallet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fund the wallet in the background and then I'll see you in the next tutorial to show you exactly how you can import it into Temple Wallet. I will catch y'all later and have a great day guys. Later. Bro, we need to pop it, everybody. Twitter and the hashtag the things pump it you know pump it real good we need a good pump everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump